Hey everyone, so today I am doing a video on this makeup look. I put up a picture of this the other day and as you can see it got a ton of likes, like way more likes than I normally get and so many people are asking for a tutorial. And it's such a simple look, so it's not really anything that I haven't done before, but the difference is like the combination of products I used were amazing. It's like a really nice kind of flawless but still semi-natural look, like the skin is super full coverage and super flawless but I don't know, it doesn't look super dramatic or anything like that so I'm just going to do this look for you today because loads of you have requested it. If you don't really like simple looks then this video won't be for you but I hope those of you who requested it enjoy this. Okay so the first step I've actually got to find everything. So the first step I took, um, I moisturized my skin, which I've already done. And then I used this BB Illumination Plus by Dry Cosmetics. I've been obsessed with this lately, as you guys know. So I'm taking about two pumps and then just putting this all over my skin. This stuff is such a good primer. Like, it makes your face look super scary when you first apply it. Like, it looks really metallic and weird, but it just makes my makeup go on flawlessly on top. I'm still in my dressing gown because today's actually a public holiday while I'm filming this. So I'm feeling lazy. So yeah, I haven't got dressed yet. So now I look a bit like a tin man. <laughs> I'm taking my Makeup Forever HD foundation. My shade is 140N or N140. And then I'm using a flat top face brush and I'm just kind of putting a little bit on my face with my fingers. So this is just one pump. I usually end up using about two pumps by the time I'm finished. And then I just kind of pat that in in downward motions. And then I'm just taking one more pump. Or well, actually like half a pump. And then just kind of putting a little bit more where I want a little bit more coverage. And that's how my skin looks now. I love the finish. Next, I'm using some concealer and I am of course using my Pro Conceal by LA Girl. I'm using this under my eyes and around my nose, just where I've got a little bit of redness. I kind of go in a triangle shape. Kind of looks like I'm putting on heaps, but I'm just spreading it out. It kind of goes a really long way. I'm also doing it just around my nostrils. And I've got a little bit of a scar there, and that's pretty good. And then I'm just using my finger just to blend it out a bit. And then I'm just going to take my foundation brush and kind of pack that in as well, just to make sure that there's no excess product left over. Next for my powder, I used a mineral foundation powder, but I use a tiny, tiny amount. This is the Bare Minerals Ready Foundation in Golden Medium W20. And so I get a little bit less coverage. I'm using a big bronzer brush. And then I'm just patting a small amount on my skin. <laughs> and this makes your skin look so flawless as well. And then once I've patted it, I just kind of like buff it a little bit. Just to settle all the powders into my skin. The only thing about this powder foundation is it settles around my nose quite a lot so I kind of avoid putting much there. Around my nose and under my eyes I use Banana by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then one of my favourite things at the moment is the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I've been really liking it. I use it kind of before and after my foundation and everything. didn't use it before today though because I forgot. So I just like to spray a few spritzes over my face once I've done my powder and everything. It kind of settles all your powders. I said that really weird. It settles all your powders so that it doesn't look powdery um, and it makes everything look quite natural. Like it gives it a natural kind of finish. I'm just applying some Haror. This is a sun protection one. Now I'm using some Dip Brow and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. Now I'm taking my Brow Gel by Ipco. 
back to using this as my favourite again. I kind of keep switching between this and the MAC one. This one looks more natural. Gives you more of a like natural finish and more like his. Does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense. So this whole look is natural but not natural. Like it's not a natural appearance but it's not full on looking. So I don't want to have like super full on brows or anything. I just want tidy brows. And now I'm using Revive Lash. And I'm actually going to put a little bit on my brow because I've got this like patch that I'm trying to grow out. And then of course on my lash line. Now for my eyeshadow it's super simple. I'm just using a couple kind of brown colours. I'm using kind of, what shade did I call this? It's kind of like a mixture of warm and cool tones. So I'm using this um, Smashbox waterproof shadow liner. And this is in the shade Luminous Fig. Interesting. And then using the little spongy. Just blending that out a little bit. I don't want it to be like everywhere. I'm just kind of putting it close to my lash line so that when I put eyeshadow on top, it's super intense next to my lashes. And then I used Espresso by MAC, which is this shade here. And this is going on the lid and then it blends it up into the crease. I'm not using a primer because I'm a rebel. And then I am taking a blending brush and I'm using the shade Kid, which is that middle one just there. And then I'm just kind of like putting that in the crease to blend out that other colour a little bit. Sorry if you need a Zeus backing. And then anything left over on my blender brush, I'm just popping underneath my eye a little bit, not too much, just a small amount. And then I use this shade here called Shroom as my brow bone highlight. Now for the skin. Okay, so the first step was my contouring. I used this bronzer here called Hula by Benefit. And I'm using a NARS Eater brush. And just a little bit up on my hairline just to bronze up my skin a little bit. And then one of the most frequently asked questions of the day on that picture was what highlight am I using? And it's Vanilla Pigment by MAC. I'm just using a small tapered face brush and then dipping the brush in a tiny little bit and then popping that on the top of my cheekbones. And then for my blush, I'm using Peach by Makeup Store. My hands are like awfully fake tanned because last night I fell asleep with my hand underneath my side. And so I've got this like patch of my side that's not pet tanned properly. Oh my god. Have any of you guys ever done that? It happened to Hamish once. Like I must have like lied on his arm and he woke up and he had like this big tan mark. Poor boy. So this is the blush. I'm just kind of putting that on my cheeks as well. And then on my eyes, I'm using the Rimmel um, Nude Exaggerate Eyeliner. I'm just putting that on my waterline. This is one of my favourite ones ever. It's so opaque. And it, like, lasts. A lot of them just kind of, like, go streaky and, like, don't really stick around. Now for my mascara, I'm using Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. If you ever get any mascara up on your eyes like I did, all you have to do is wait for it to dry. And then once it's dried, so just wait like a minute or two. Then once it's dry, you just kind of like flick it off because it'll kind of crumble off. Whereas if you try to wipe it as soon as you get mascara on your face, the mascara is going to be wet. So you're just going to smear it around and make it worse. So just make sure it's dry before you touch it. Now the only product I can't actually remember what I used is my lipstick, but it's a nude. So you can pretty much wear any lip colour you want with this look. I'm going to use this 3 Concept Eyes lipstick in the shade Peach Peach. And a tiny little bit of Stila Avery. 
So that is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. I'll put a list of the products I use down below if you're interested in trying any of them out. If you do try this look, let me know how you liked it. Or if you don't want to use the same products as I used, you can definitely use the same kind of technique. Um, if you do try out this look, make sure you tag me on Instagram or on um, Twitter or anything like that. I'd love to see your looks and that goes for any one of my tutorials. I would love to see your recreations. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Sorry if I sound a little bit down today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just feel very tired. Uh, I think I'm just going to like chill out a little bit. Anyway, enough blubbing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please thumbs up. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Step. I thought I would add a little bit more highlight because I love the dewy look with this. And that is the completed look. Super pretty. It has that element of natural to it where it's just really soft and naturally beautiful. But it also undertoned. I love this. I love the hyper glossy ones because I love a good glossy lip. You do not need to top this with a lip gloss at all. Oh my god. Favorite. Now I'm going to dabble in some purples and some deeper shades. This shade here is called Brills and it is a satin.